I wanted to explain to you something about GTIN exemption. GTIN exemption is only a short term solution for everybody who is just like not 100% sure about their brand, just wants to test some listings and just kind of wants to create um, a listing just to see how the process works. When you already have a brand or you're thinking about the selling your products also off Amazon, then your long term solution has to be a GS1 barcode. I recommend getting them from GS1 UK because that's obviously that's just the cheapest option for you. In case you do want to go for a GTN exemption, you will find it here when you go on to add products in your seller central. You have to go on the left side here, just click my photos away where say what is a GTIN, and then you just click on here. I will open this one and how to list products who do not have a GTIN. And you generally We'll see that it applies for homemade products or products that are private label like ours. Um, but like I said, it's only suitable if you don't um, want to purchase barcodes just yet. If you already have a brand, um, you cannot just get GTN exemption anymore. You will need brand approval. To get that, you need a support letter, which you can get here. Sorry, like a template here. I will also put that into our units. And you can see here we have um, the brand letter from Amazon that you have to fill in. When you are obviously as a private label seller, you're all, you are the owner of the brand. So you have to give yourself permission to sell, which is a bit funny. However, just fill it all in. Stamp it. Sign it. Make sure it's actually really signed. If you have a stamp, even better. And... Um, then you just upload that with images. You will need six images from each site to get brand approval. If you're not sure about your brand, you can just get a GTN an exemption for generic. And we click on here, it takes a little. And then you just choose your category. Let's say you want to start selling decoration. Then you would just go into home and garden, which also includes garden and patio. And if you're not sure about your brand, you just type in generic. If you want a brand, let's say, oh, Candy's, Candy's Garden, then you have to add all this information. Ah. Mm -hmm. So here, continue to submit proof. And that's when I have to upload all my stuff. They will request um, this letter from me, which I don't want right now. Um, I just want to show you how to get their generic one. Um, because if you get that, oh, actually not home and garden. Maybe I go for hmm, office products. Check eligibility. And then you can see here, it's instantly approved. It does say here 30 minutes, but it generally works straight away. And that's pretty much it. And then you can start listing your product without having to type in any product ID. And if we now go on to add products, we're adding a product that is not sold on Amazon. We choose office products. I just choose anything now. School supplies, um, maybe calendars and organizers. I just feel like that today. I do need one actually. And I would love an address book. And then you can see up here, normally this would be red, but you have to fill it in. But because we have an exemption for the category office products, which includes all the subcategories, we don't need to put anything in. Important is here that you just you type like just put ABC in. The manufacturer can be your brand or your company. The part number can be also anything you want to give that. And the brand you have to put in generic. If you don't put generic in, I don't know why I always put generic <laughs> and um, generic. It's very important. If that doesn't work, sometimes you still receive the error 5665, then you have to try and go for A and A. And you just type everything in. Easy done. Important up here. Offer. Every time when you see that you can't click this, it's generally something up here that you're still missing. So now we type in new, we call this test GTIN, 
and my offer will be I'm gonna have zero because I don't want this to go live. I don't want people to sell, to buy my test GDIN product. And I'm just gonna make this a dollar. And it doesn't matter down here if you click Amazon will ship this or provide and provide the customer service. Even if you click that, you will still have to convert it to FBA. So you can just leave it like that. And then you hit save and finish. And then after you refresh this page here about 50 times, um, you will see that your listing is right up here. And again, it's suppressed because I didn't put an image in. And if you click on here, which I always recommend, you want to see the reference queue and you also want to see who is fulfilling, fulfilling this item. Then you can see it's here fulfilled by merchant. And next time I'm going to show you how to change that to fulfilled by Amazon. Thank you.